Hello and welcome to an overview of the LeaseWeb Security Enterprise Service. I'm Stuart, Pre-Sales Technical Engineer. Our security service is dedicated to protecting your website from denial of service attacks and data leakage, utilizing our industry-leading expertise and network infrastructure setup. On the security dashboard screen, you get an idea of the traffic passing through our security layer and can see information about global traffic, requests per second, the savings that you get from using our service, and also a number of requests per day. This is more of an informative view, but the real valuable information lies in the next screen. The web application firewall mitigates sophisticated application layer attacks. That is, attacks that happen not against the server in general, but against your code. Think of a WordPress or e-commerce site. Many attack vectors exist, especially in unpatched or older code, and securing your data is our primary focus. On the screen, you'll find a list of the web application firewall rule groups and can easily see which ones, within the time frame, are alerting or have been actively blocking attackers. You can also see by country and by IP address the attackers or alerts that you've received. To really get an insight into how to control the firewall, we look at the WAF rules page. Here you can see all of the different attack groups and can toggle whether they are turned off whether they are alerting, i.e. you see something in the logs, or whether they're actively blocking. They're split into different groups. Many of them are familiar if you have a security overview, but some of them, for example, e-commerce or CMS, are customized to be application specific. We'll cover alerts in a second. The key thing here is that you can see exactly what and how the firewall blocks the traffic including viewing down to a code level, the specific template of how we actually block or alert this particular attacker. The next thing to talk about is DDoS protection, distributed denial of service. We protect at an HTTP level, that is application layer attacks that can result in such effects like slow post requests, an unresponsive API and severe downtime of your site. In order to combat these attackers, we have a number of solutions in place. IP rate limiting is a practice whereby only a certain number of requests to your website are allowed in a given number of time. This is entirely configurable, including the HTTP status code sent back if an attacker exceeds those limits. Next is capture protection. This is a system that basically attempts to see if the web page is being loaded by a human. Here we can see an example of a fully customizable capture protection setup. Last but not least is our JS challenge. This is a mechanism whereby the server and the browser communicate together to ensure that only valid traffic is allowed. This is accomplished by way of a small calculation done in JavaScript that happens prior to the page itself being loaded. If that calculation fails, then the page is either blocked or an alert is added to the log. That's it for an overview of our security dashboard and our security service. Thanks for watching. For more information on our security system, please visit leaseweb.com or contact us at sales at leaseweb.com. Thank you.